mighty God, your Son has opened for us a new and living way into your presence. Give us new hearts and constant wills to worship you in spirit and in truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please sit down. Well, it's Christmas Day at last, and welcome to all of you who've made it here this morning, especially if you're new here, if you're visiting relatives, um, have been here before, I think there's someone here from Sweden, <laughs> I don't know if there's anyone else come from a long way away, we've got family from Hong Kong, which is nice, so welcome anyway. And uh, I want to say special thanks to Nikki and Niz for doing music this morning. That's wonderful. And many, many thanks to James at the back here, back there, working the electrics. And he's assured. Well, I said to him, "What can possibly go wrong?" And he said to me, "Let's not go that far." <laughs> <laughs> but I trust it won't. So thank you very much. And I've just remembered to say a special welcome. We have two canine members of the congregation this morning. <laughs> So, welcome to um, Sadie with Diana and Tilly. 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 Okay, that's absolutely great. You're, God, you're very welcome to you. Here's a sentence that I read this week God has come, God is there in the world. And therefore, everything is different from what we imagine it to be. When we say, it is Christmas, we mean that God has spoken into the world his last, his deepest, his most beautiful word in the incarnate word. And this word means, I love you, you the world, and human beings. So before we go any further, and I forget, the next thing we do is light the advent candle. Are there any children here that would like to help light the advent candle? Alina, you'd like to help, that's fantastic. Right, so Helena. I've got two seconds. Okay. We'll share it out. So there are five candles to light today. So Helena, I'd like you to light all the purple ones. Jesus, light of light, you have come among us. 
Help us who live by your light to shine as lights in your world. Glory to God in the highest. Amen. 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 And we take a, a moment um, to pause and uh, confess to God. And I read a couple of weeks ago that a, a new definition of sin for me. Sin is when we don't let God be God. When we refuse to let God be God in our lives. So can you take can we we'll take a moment just to be quiet as we prepare for the confession? Hear the words of the angel to Joseph. You shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Therefore, let us seek the forgiveness of God through Jesus the Saviour of the world. And we say together, on the next slide, <laughs> Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our singing, 
you ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm before the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. This is the word of the Lord. And thanks be to God. And we stand to sing. <laughs>
so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet, the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the Word became flesh, and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please sit down. Now, I've got a Christmas letterbox with me this morning, and I might need some help with people putting things in the right slots, because this is a special letterbox that's got two slots, not just one. And um, Glenys is already wanting to come up, I think, aren't you? So would you come and help me and maybe somebody else? Anyone else want to come and post things? Well, you can watch, because I might need extra help. So at the, bo at the top, you might not want to, okay. Are you, want, are you bringing somebody? Okay, perfect. So at the top, we have a slot that says true, and underneath, we have another slot that says false. And so we're just going to start off by thinking, how is Christmas true, or how true is Christmas, which is another way of saying it, because I've been thinking about the Christmas story this year, and, you know, lots of things, in fact, everything we know really about the Christmas story is in the Bible, otherwise we wouldn't really know anything about it. But there's also some other things about the Christmas story that people kind of make up because we like to use our imaginations, don't we? So some of the things here that I'm going to read out are actually in the Bible, but other things are more like Christmas cards for Christmas, or even Christmas carol Christmas, which is kind of a mixture, isn't it? Carols basically tell us the story, but sort of embellish it. So let's see, you, you'll have everybody else to help you, okay? So um, I'm just going to read this out, and we'll, we'll see what people think. And if they think it's true, will you go and put it in the top one? And if they think it's not true, you have to put it in the bottom as well. Okay. Everyone was delighted to welcome Jesus when he was born. Think about the nativity story. You think false, why? Because, like, the king and... Didn't want uh, somebody else to be. Absolutely. You can't have a story without a baddie. So if there is a baddie in the Christmas <laughs> story, and I love watching the nativities that the school puts on because that baddie, that Herod, is always a very, very memorable figure. So I think we started off with a fault. So would you like to just pop that one for me? Perfect. Three kings brought Jesus gifts. Manger that he was laid in. Yeah. 
It's not about idealised meals with idealised decorations and fluffy snow falling gently past the window. Although that's a pleasing image, it's not very real. Christmas is true because it's real then, because we can sometimes, like the Christ child, feel small, vulnerable, and sometimes we feel, especially at Christmas, a bit stressed. Possibly this year a bit disappointed, as one of my friends who's a vicar tested positive for COVID yesterday. It's probably feeling. Someone has described Chesed as the quality that moves someone to act for the benefit of someone else without asking, what's in it for me? It may be translated loyal love. Sometimes the emphasis is on loyal and sometimes on love. It's translated by Walter Brueggemann, that great German theologian, as tenacious solidarity. Solidarity with the human race. Solidarity, perhaps, with many of our brothers and sisters who are seeking asylum at this Christmas. They know the story to be true because in the story we find weary travellers, a slightly bemused Jewish newlywed with a young pregnant wife and both of them becoming refugees forced from their homes by violence. Christ is born into all of this and shuns none of it. He shuns no one and identifies with all our race by being born into it. And this is how Christmas is true. God's tenacious solidarity is a fact. May we know and demonstrate that tenacious solidarity, that chesed, that loving kindness in our hearts, homes and communities, today and into the new year. Amen. in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us, and rose again? Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God? and makes Christ known in the world. We believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the Church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one Lord, our Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please sit for our prayers. And I'm going to use the um, response, Light of the World, and when I say that, we all say together, be born in our hearts. Light of the world, be born in our hearts. As we gather to worship the Christ child born today, let us pray trustfully to our Heavenly Father. Father, we pray for all Christians celebrating with us all over the world in all climates, times, and seasons, as our planet turns. We think especially of any who are suffering persecution at this time. Light of the world, we be Lord in our hearts today. Father, we pray for all areas of darkness, where your light is desperately needed to bring peace, understanding, sensitivity, and compassion. And we think especially of the um, struggles and suffering going on in Afghanistan, and of all the tensions arising in the, Ukraine, the Ukrainian border with Russia.
light of the world, in all our hearts. Father, we commend to you our homes, our families, neighbours and friends. We commend to you all children and young babies and all those who are being born today. We commend our school and the community of Newtown and all those living in the Hope Into Action house in here in Newtown. Light of the world, we pray for those who are hungry, cold, or homeless, for all who are separated from their loved ones, all who find the festivities of Christmas emphasising their isolation and misery. We also pray for those who are sick, and especially we pray for Leslie Russell, uh, who was admitted to hospital last night with a broken hip, which he's now had fixed. Light of the world, in our hearts. And we thank you for all who have worshipped you throughout the ages, for the lives and examples of all who shone with your light and now rest in your peace. And we remember Bill Goffard, June Russell, Simon, uh, Susan Bicknell, and Hamish Preston. Light of the world, be all in our hearts. Father, in thankfulness we praise you. Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We stand for the peace.
made known to us again the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Confirm our faith and fix our eyes on him until the day dawns and Christ the morning star rises in our hearts. To him be both glory, both now and forevermore. Amen. And we pray together. Almighty God, we thank you for leading us with the body and blood of your dear Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out into the power of your Spirit to live and love as your people. Amen. 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 So the next service is next Sunday, um, which is going to be an all-age service. Um, so that means there's no service tomorrow, despite it being Sunday. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Are there any other notices, apart from sort of Happy Christmas? Okay, then we uh, sing our final hymn. <laughs> Amen. Um.
Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.